So we stopped at the duty-free area. Isn't that one of the main attractions of air travel? Mindless browsing through the duty-free shops, even if you're not buying anything. It was nice. I think this is the duty-free in our own airport here in Houston while waiting to board our first flight. And there wasn't really anything different or very interesting apart from maybe the sunglass area, sunglasses area. I'm always looking at perfumes, but this Gucci glasses coming up right here caught my eye. Yeah, we're congratulating ourselves for finally making it on this flight guys we planned and planned and planned you know to for this trip it was a sudden trip it's 12 years of not being to nigeria but now we're even going on a bittersweet journey you know we're going because victor's father has passed away so it's not really for a very happy occasion and you know a few months prior my brother had passed away we were not even able to go for his funeral because it was a kind of like confusing time at the beginning of the pandemic so we look happy and excited because we're going to see friends and family that we haven't seen for a while but there's that underlying reason why we are going i don't think there was any particular reason why we hadn't gone like one particular reason why we hadn't been to nigeria for 12 years but you know life happens life happens we are settling in for the flight and Victor is saying some things. He's always excited like that. And that, you know, that's, well, that's okay. During this time, it was nice that he was excited because he wasn't thinking about why he was actually traveling. You know, you need little moments like that to reboot. To reboot. And here we are giving Ooh, for the yeah. flight, which Victor would always open happily, but he never gets to use them because he says they don't fit in his ear. Guys, tell me if you have that problem of the um flight earphones not fitting into your ears i feel as if it was made to fit into all kinds of ear holes but for some people it just falls out and that's victor And then we were also given some wipes, some disinfectant wipes to keep everything nice and clean. And here Victor is wiping his hands thoroughly because we're about to get the first meal for the flight, which was dinner. And for dinner, we had a choice of chicken or pasta. Victor chose this creamy pasta with a side of steamed broccoli, I think. And I chose the ravioli with a red sauce and salad on the side. And of course, dinner comes with rolls and then coffee and other drinks as well. lunch it's a kind of sub sandwich i'm not sure what meat was in it but it came with some kind of custard as a dessert came with custard as a dessert which wasn't bad and then breakfast came right like an hour to landing it was scrambled eggs with fruit salad on the side And here we are about to land.
this is from Frankfurt Airport. And um, I'm just going through my clearance with um, the COVID test, the PCR, PCR test. And um, I presented my Nigerian passport. I was worried that uh, I was worried that I um, um, I was worried that I would have a problem because they said my maybe they will say my my COVID test has expired because we did it on Monday and today is a Thursday. But it went through and the stamp was you know the body. Place is a bit cold. The place is a bit cold and um, I'm excited about what is ahead of us. You know my father's funeral starts tomorrow. It's tomorrow evening. And um, I'm really praying everything's gonna go well. But to be honest, this flight is six hours. Huh? No, Charles told me six hours. I don't know how many hours is the flight. I don't know why they are telling us that I have it. No, I didn't have 4 p.m. Well, not 8 p.m. No. My ticket says 4 p.m. I thought we left at 4 p.m. We arrived at 8 p.m. Let me check it. Is it that one where I live in the 8 p.m.? It's not 8 p.m. What did I say? So yeah, we're good to go and we're, we're ready. And um, I like this place. I love it. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy. Just wanted to touch base with you to see how everything went. That nine hours flight was like the most difficult one because my devices could not connect to the system. The devices could not connect to the system, so I struggled a bit. And um, so I couldn't watch the movies I wanted to watch. But it all went well. The food wasn't spectacular. I, 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 you watched the video, but I loved it. Thank God for Johnny Mercy. Traveling is work, it's job, it takes planning. It takes planning, everything takes planning. Now we know this job, and it's a bit good. I like it. And, um, I'll see you in the next few minutes as we board. People are still lining up for their COVID test and uh, I'm excited. I've not been home for a long time, like 12 years. Oh, we didn't have a passage and I've always go to Europe. Europe was a good destination, London. And um, with the kids. But this time around, God has opened Africa, I don't know. My father's funeral and everything. I just spoke with my brother-in-law. He told me that I should not be worried if they, if they give me any problem at the airport, at the Buja airport immigration. I should um, call him and I'm wondering what kind of problem am I gonna have? I wanna, you know, push you around and think. I don't know. So, uh, have you ever had any problem at Abuja airport? Or actually, any Nigeria airport? Do they hold you if you're, if you're coming from overseas if you carry a foreign passport? Well, I'm not gonna show my foreign passport. I'm gonna show my Nigerian passport. So. I don't know if um, any of you ever had a problem. So let's cross our fingers and um, I pray this aircraft will be good. I really pray. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you.